Ah, uh, yes, I, Mathis, the scientist with these two beakers of scientific uh, chemicals, will mix them. Ah, they make the subscribe chemical. Hello, everybody. My name is Mathis, and welcome back to another episode of Play Geek Evolved. Weirdly a popular-ish series here on the channel. Um, I'm going to do one more uh, kind of normal virus on Brutal. Uh, before we do, maybe we'll do some um, custom stuff if people really want to see some custom stuff. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do Prion. Uh, I've only beaten on this file. As you can see, I've gone through everything again. Um, I've kind of beaten everything, at least on a medium difficulty, kind of get my shit back under me. So we're going to do Prion, uh, and we're going to do Brutal on this one. Um, I've already got it all laid out the way I want it. Uh, we're gonna go with a, a cytochrome surge, which gets more DNA from popping orange bubbles. Genetic mimic, your plague is harder to cure, which is gonna be great because this is a, a virus that is very quiet and infects the brain and we don't want uh, anybody to know about it for a long time, which is kind of your standard um, your standard tactic for this game. And then when they do figure it out, make it very difficult for people to, f to, to do anything. Uh, Aerosite, so it's easier to travel by air. Rural file for when we get into the more rural areas. And ionized helix, um, which I love this because if this ever evolves something that I don't want, instead of it costing me DNA to devolve it, I will get DNA to evolve it later uh, in a better manner. So we're gonna go ahead and that, that's gonna be our main layout here, uh, mainly because I don't have everything kind of set up. And we're just gonna go with Brutal. I'm still not ready for Mega Brutal. I'm still not convinced I'm good enough yet for Mega Brutal again, uh, but we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, this is uh, the Brain Worm. Um, uh, I don't know what, I, what kind of, what do you want to call like a brain virus? A Bryvirus? Bryanvirus? Brian? The virus. Done. All right. Welcome, uh, blah, blah, blah. My favorite place to start any game is always like in Egypt. I love it. It's, it's got a bunch of ports. Uh, it's got an airport. It's in the Middle East, so it can spread through Africa pretty quickly. And then um, we can kind of hopefully take over pretty much everything here. And by, I'm, by, middle, by middle East, I, I mean uh, it's in Africa not the actual Middle East. And I accidentally decided to choose Iran. I, I double clicked Iran. So that's exciting because uh, that's gonna change everything <laughs> because there's nowhere for this to go. So now what I need is to get this south as soon as I possibly can. So uh, let's take a look here. One of the best ways to do that, I think is gonna be going through air. Uh, we are already pretty good in the air. So maybe grabbing some water early on is gonna be ideal for us. Um, we're not gonna worry about any of the symptoms right now. We don't want any symptoms right now. And we're gonna get through some abilities early on. Um, I'd love to get obviously neural net atrophy, which is this main particular uh, viruses or, or plagues or whatever set of abilities. And what it does is it makes complex tasks become harder. And what that means for us is making like cures incredibly difficult. For now though, let's just play the game and see how this works out. Brian is a prion, a slow, subtle, and complex pathogen in the brain. It is much harder to notice and cure. Disease takes longer to react to new evolutions. We're just gonna sit here. We have to wait it out. I, I didn't mean for it to go into Iran, but you know, it is what it is. There's not much I can do about it. Another, the other thing is one of uh, an interesting uh, tactic is to take the modification that al allows the virus to evolve on its own and then take the one that you can buy it all back for extra DNA. Something I also like to do in, in things like this. All right, Iran, I need you to kind of just do your thing. Um, the earlier we can get things transmitting, the better. The question is, is water the way to go? I think we're gonna take water very early on. And um, the idea here is to just try and infect this area as quickly as we possibly can. Um, let's go ahead and take mosquitoes. Uh, it's really good in hot climates and uh, a chance of mutation, which will allow us to refund back that mutation for extra DNA. So let's go ahead and take that. And let's see if this helps spread it in the area, maybe a little bit further south into Africa, which I just want to hit Egypt. If I can hit Egypt, we're in a very good spot. Even getting down into Saudi Arabia is not a bad call either. All right, we've got 22 DNA. I'm going to go ahead and pop these, uh, making complex tasks very hard for people. And uh, let's go ahead and go ahead and grab blood one because we are going to hit poorer countries uh, very soon. And then uh, quickly spreading through poorer countries just to kind of get it going is uh, not a bad call either. Brian has mutated and developed coughing symptom. We're actually going to go ahead and devolve that. I don't want any symptoms right now, though. We'll get four. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the severity here. I just don't want any severity more than what we've got. 
Uh, rats is not a bad idea either early on for urban regions. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. We just, we were, now we're starting to infect some areas with some urban regions. Yes, that's what I want to see. Mystery still surrounds the decision to postpone the Rio Olympics. Uh, if the Olympics do go down, though, that's a good place for us to, to become very infectious. Uh, initiative for poor country, making them less vulnerable to disease. Well, that's unfortunate for us, because that's exactly what we, we wanted to do. We were kind of hedging our bets on infecting poor countries fast. But if that can't work, that can't work. Oh, we actually got up into Russia without actually taking any cold resistance, which is interesting. All right, Brian is doing pretty good. I'm actually gonna pop cold resistance right now because I do want to get into Greenland s as fast as I can. It's one of the hardest ones to get into. Um, we have developed anemia, which I do not want. So we're gonna go in and get two DNA points for that. And we're just gonna let that fly. Keep it on the down low. All right, we're starting to spread. Yep, yep, there we go. Ooh, we're actually starting to head towards Europe, which is fantastic. Iran is almost fully infected and there's Egypt. That's gonna be a big key moment for us uh, as well. And there we go. Um, extreme tsunami hits Egypt. Extreme significant loss of life. We've, uh, they've actually ki killed 7,000 people, which is actually great for us. Uh, bad for the people down there, but great for us. I think we're just gonna leave this for now. I think the next thing I wanna work towards is a little bit of drug resistance. We're almost there. If I can get drug resistance one early, we can go ahead and do that. It's gonna help us spread, uh, Brexit is happening, but it's gonna help us get into and live and sustain in um, the richer worlds, the first the first world countries, uh, United States, you know, North America in general, Europe, that kind of thing. Central Asia is just getting bombarded. Uh, we just got into Southeast Asia. The coughing symptom again, which I do not want. So give we're gonna get rid of that for now. Still don't want any uh, detection. We're not nearly spread the way I want to be to get that kind of detection. There we go. From Saudi Arabia all the way down to South Africa, which gives us access to another port. Okay, it looks like we're gonna actually hit Greenland, or Iceland rather, which gives us a one step closer to Greenland. And we may, oh, that's so good. We're actually hitting all the areas I want. If we look at our map, you can see where we've infected. We've really hit the West world. Uh, or rather the east side of the world uh, nicely and we're really heavily infecting it. We And we are slowly starting to make our way up to the richer countries like USA, Canada, that kind of goodness. There we go. That's what I want to see. All right, let's um, let's go ahead and grab cell death, uh, making complex tasks significantly harder. Let's go ahead and grab that nice and early. So now uh, the complex tasks means research and stuff is going to be so difficult for them that when they do eventually discover that there's a disease infecting the world, that their research through it is not going to go very well. And we are kind of nigh unstoppable right now uh, in terms of all of this. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and grab uh, heat resistance one. And we can actually go ahead and travel by air a little bit better now as well. More people than the common cold. Kazakhstan is going crazy. Okay, there's another one. Yep, there's Europe kind of losing it. Uh, scientists have had a breakthrough with understanding of tumors. Interesting. So they're gonna be able to cure diseases a little easier. Wish that was real world. Uh, be great news in the real world. Uh, not so much here, but the world is still quickly becoming infected and it might be worth it for us to start investing in the spread of, of, uh, of symptoms, but I'm still going to say, let's go ahead and get drug resistance level two so that our spreading, um, there's another coughing. I'm debating leaving the coughing symptom at this point. We may be at the point where leaving the coughing symptom is, is ideal. So I think I'm going to leave it and let it hopefully give a little bit more uh, infectivity to our disease for a little bit. Um, mysterious illness. Unfortunately, that probably means us. We have not gotten to Greenland, which does concern me. Um, the longer it takes for us to go to Greenland, the longer it's gonna take for us to infect everything. I think I'm going to devolve coughing now. I'm hoping we can just get up here, but I don't know what else we can really do. Cold resistance level two might be our best shot at getting up there faster. 
I really need to start banking for symptoms now is the thing. Okay, high bird migration. Good news for us. Still nothing that has hit Greenland. Cysts symptoms. So here's the thing, right? If we take a look at our world map, um, everything else is relatively just kind of, it takes time. Um, right now it's Greenland and over here in the Caribbean that is, is stressing me out just a bit because we haven't hit it yet. So I'm gonna go with water level two in hopes that we're gonna get it. There we go, there's the Caribbean. They've discovered the disease, but they've not started really doing anything about it. I really need to see a spread up to here. As soon as we've got something up here, I'm gonna be a little less concerned. But the only way I can get there is by boat and every boat that's gone there has not carried the disease yet. And that is absolutely stressing me out. There we go, that's what I needed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. We're gonna let the, the symptoms start developing and we're just gonna leave them um, because we have everything we need. From here on out, it's just a waiting game. It's mostly waiting for Greenland to really take off. So what we want to do is start working towards uh, infectivity heavily. So we're gonna go with coughing, followed by sneezing. Then we're gonna go swing into immune suppression and we're gonna start working our way towards total organ failure which is going to cause uh, lots and lots of death. First death from Brian has been indicated, which is good. New Zealand has started uh, researching, which is not a big deal. Again, we're pretty okay. Now I'm curious, if we take a look at the world real quick, we're good, we've hit every single country. We're genuinely just waiting to murder everybody. But I can't flip that switch to kill everybody until Greenland has been infected more thoroughly because if they start dying, wow, total organ failure. If they start dying faster than being they're being infected, then we have a problem. But they actually, it just mutated total organ failure on its own. Which is fantastic. Um, for us, I just don't know if that's something we want to stick with. I'm going to grab this here and then system systemic infection. Let's go here and then we'll grab coma after. But for now, I need to hurry along the infectivity of this. The whole world is working on a cure right now. But if we can kill faster than they can cure, we're in a good spot. Basically, if we can kill them faster than, than they, if we can kill them fast enough where the cure gets slowed, we, we can win. And it's gonna slow down. People are now dying faster than they're being infected in Greenland, but it might not matter. Um, now the question is, how do I get myself one of these? 25 points for this. If I can get myself up to 25, we're in a good spot. If I can't, then we have a problem. So if I devolve that, that'll get us to 12. That'll get us nothing. Zero, zero, zero. Nothing here for any of this. Four, four, four. I'm gonna see if this is gonna work out for us. It might, we might not be able to, to stop this. Okay, everybody's infected with Brian. Now everybody's gonna start dying and I'm hoping this is gonna slow. But if it doesn't, I might have to make some very, very emergency. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make some emergency calls here. Uh, let's devolve this. Um, we need 25 points. I can't, slowing it down isn't gonna matter. I needed a genetic reshuffle. Let's devolve that and then devolve this. And then I'm gonna go for a genetic reshuffle which should ha make it so they need to work harder, but it's not less deadly, which is the important part. I might have lost. I might have made a very wrong call. And uh, I don't know where I would pin that wrong call, but there were a few things that might have been bad for us. Um, I might have left the symptoms in a little too long. That, that definitely could have been something I, I actually ended up fucking up on. This is why I wasn't ready for, ready for Mega Brutal yet. Damn it. Can I make it any more lethal with what I have? Less productive would be my only bet here, but... Rash symptom without using DNA points, but there's the cure. And that's it, I'm gonna lose. 
Well, we've long, we've learned a lesson, uh, unfortunately. And uh, the lesson is, I had to spend a lot of early experience on making sure this is gonna spread further south because I accidentally picked Iran. Now, is that the reason I lost? Unlikely it's the reason I lost. Um, I need to, I'm gonna have to watch it over to, to really pinpoint where I went wrong. But yeah, I, I, I fucked up somewhere along the way, unfortunately. All right, well, we killed a lot of people. I got very, very close. Uh, very, very close. But nothing I can do about it. So, um, I might do another episode where I retry this and we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna put this episode up anyway because the tactics I, were, I use are right. They're just, I did a couple things. I'm still rusty, man. I'm still rusty. Uh, but either way, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. If you are, let me know in the comment section below. Your support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.